A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use the general features of the measurement tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And in the last two tutorials, we have talked about how to take the linear dimension, how to take the perimeter and area of any enclosed space. That was the part of the measure tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And now we are going to talk about the general features which covers everything and conclude the measure tool in Adobe Acrobat. So first thing first, we will talk about the show and hide rulers and you will see here there is no rulers is visible. So if you want to see the rulers or ruler option, what you can do, you can right click and show rulers and you will see when I have clicked rulers, you will see the rulers on the top and the side. It gives you a kind of quick view of the size of the drawing. And uh, if you feel this is not the right way and if you don't want it to be like this, what you can do, you can right click and hide it once again by just hide the rulers and when I press it, it will go away. Now the second point of discussion is the enable and disable measurement markup. And uh, with this feature, what we can do, we can see the dimension, but we will not allow the tools to mark the dimension as a markup. So imagine I'm going to take a dimension here you will see there is a measurement markup here. You can see the dimension here. But if you want to just see that what is the dimension, but you don't want it to be marked on the plan. Because when we mark a lot of dimensions, it looks ugly sometimes. And what we can do, we can avoid it by just uh, yeah, disabling the measurement markup. And for that, what we can do, right click again. First, we have to select here. Right click and uh, disable measurement markup. So what, what we are going to do, we are going to see it we will see the dimension is 131.75 but when we start marking the another one you will see it will go away so with this we can just see what dimension is but it won't be marked but if we want to bring it back just select it here right click enable measurement mark now what's third point of discussion is how to enable snapping option and you might have seen when i was taking the measurement or when i'm moving my mouse pointer you will see there is a rectangular box here it helps us to take the dimension very precisely but imagine a situation when it is disabled from here like here I can uncheck it from here itself and when I inject all you will see there is no snapping option so if we have disabled it there is a fair chance of getting a little error in taking the dimension because it is not snapping at the right point so if it is disabled by any means what I would recommend you to keep it enabled and for enabling it what you can do you can just press it here or there are a few other options in the preference as well but this is the most easier one this is the snapping at intersection midpoint end and at the path so keep it selected when you are using measurement tools in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC now we are going to talk about how to use ortho on and ortho off and when you're using ortho on you can take the measurement in horizontal direction and vertical direction. If it is uh, enabled ortho off, you can take the measurement in horizontal direction and vertical direction and also any orientation between the horizontal and vertical direction. So first I'm going to use, select this first and then turn ortho on. So now you can take the dimension only in horizontal and vertical direction, but if you disable ortho or turning ortho off, you can take the horizontal direction, you can take the dimension in either orientation. So I'm going to take the dimension like this. You can also use the same feature by keeping ortho off and use the shift key. So I'm using shift key now while ortho is off from the toolbar. When I'm pressing shift F, you can take the dimension only in the horizontal and vertical direction. It is similar like ortho on. If I'm trying to take a dimension in, it can also take in the 45 degree, but not other than just 3 mode. But I'm just not pressing the shift, you can take the dimension either off the angle between horizontal and vertical direction. So this is all about the ortho on and ortho off. Now we will talk about how to change the level of the measurement marker. And uh, 
a labeling helps us to identify that markup or some kind of some kind of text which helps us to identify or give some kind of information. And here you will see the the markup has a text called line distance, which we can change based on our convenience. So in the major tool, we have two types of uh, labeling. One is the default labeling, and other is the user defined. So what I'm going to do first is going to press it and use the major reference and you will see the option here is the use default label and when we press default label and pressing ok you will see the markup is distance 495.84 this is the default one but if you want to change to user defined what you can do we can go to that and measure reference and select user label and here we have changed the line distance now suppose we want to change to this dis only and pressing OK, so the next markup will be with the DIS. And if you want to, instead of going to there, you can change the label from here itself. Change markup label from here and change from, let's say I'm just putting label 1 and I'm taking the dimension now, you will see the label 1. Now we will talk about how to change the line properties and its color. And for that, what we can do, we can go to the uh, preference again. We can go to the preference by right click measure preference, or we can go to the edit and preference tool, and you will see the same box has appeared here, which we were talking here. Now, let's see. I mean, you will see that there is a default line start that is closed, and default line end is open. We can make it closed if you wish, or you can choose either option. From here the captain style is inside if you want to make it top you can make it top the leader length is basically the length this length if you want to the, if you want to make the top one above the line smaller you can choose smaller like what I'm choosing now five this is the snapping point which we have already talked about and when we press ok you will see the leader length has come down the ending is different than the previous one, so you can change from here itself. So now we will talk about how to change the, all the color line properties. So what we will do, we can select it here and use properties and you will see another box has appeared here. So you will see the close closed. The line style is daughter line. If you want to make a continuous line, you can change continuous line. If you change the thickness, thicker line, you can change the thicker line. The line color is green. If you want to change to red, you can change it to red. Fill color is blue. You can see here from the blue. If you want to change to some other color, you can change it that also. The leader length and leader extension we have talked about. The lower part and the five is the upper part. And uh, when you click it OK, that is how the dimension is changed. Now imagine if you want to make this dimension style for the future is what you can do you can use that make it default and for that what you can do right click again and go to the properties and since you have already selected make properties default and the future dimension style will remain like this so i'm going to take the other dimension here and we'll see this is same dimensioning style and if you want to change it again right click properties change the values what you want and then make properties default so that will remain the style for the future use now we will talk about how to hide and show measurement info window in toolbar so here is the measurement info window if you want to hide it what you can do we can go and hide info window and you will see it will go away if you want to bring it back again you can bring it back by show measurement info window it is back again similarly the toolbar if you want to hide it, you can hide it from here. Measurement, hide measurement toolbar, go away. If you want to bring it back, bring the show measurement toolbar to back. Now we will talk about how to export these all the markups to Excel. And for that, what we can do, we can right click, export measurement info markup to Excel. Uh, it will save somewhere in any of the folder. You can let it save and then you can open it from there. And now we'll see all the measurement markups are here. 
it's in Excel format, you can realize it best on your convenience. So with this, we have came to an end of the discussion and hope it has given you an idea about how to use the general features of the measurement tools in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC.